Hello, today I'm going to talk about all the classes that I took my freshman fall at UC Berkeley. So this video is inspired by Katie Tracy's like videos that she does about all the classes she took at Cornell and I found them really interesting and informative so I wanted to do my own version for Berkeley. So just a little bit of background context, I was an intended data science and econ double major. And I was also thinking of like exploring comp sci, kind of. So the first class I took is called MCB55, Plagues and Pandemics. I took this class to fulfill my biology general education requirement because I'm in the College of Letters and Sciences. We had lectures three times a week at 9 a.m. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We had quizzes every other week and we had two midterms and one final. And the final and the exams were not cumulative. So basically they were tested on one third of the course and we had one professor for like one the first third and the last third of the course and another professor for the second third of the course so i took this class pass no pass which means that i don't get a letter grade and the workload like was not bad for that i just like didn't really study after i did pass no pass for this class so there's not that many readings and they're pretty interesting although i only did the first few readings so i can't really talk on that and the quizzes are 10 questions and you get 12 hour time window to take them online the exams are also not that bad. They're like one hour for the midterms and then the final was two hours. And But you definitely do need to put in a good amount of effort if you want to get an A in the class. So the class is curved so that the average grade is a B. And the material itself is not that hard, but there's just a lot to memorize. So this class is about plagues and pandemics, if you couldn't tell from the title. And we just kind of learned about the immune system, different diseases, how they work, how they infect the body, and how they affected the population, and how they're currently affecting the population. And we also did learn about COVID. We learned about all the different COVID vaccines. And so basically this class was more like, I'll say public health epidemiology, maybe. We didn't really get too deep into the biology aspect of it. And... I don't regret taking the class because I found the content really interesting. I feel like understanding how the immune system worked and the COVID vaccines and just like what happens when you get vaccinated, it just like filled a gap in my brain that I didn't know existed. Like I just feel more equipped and prepared knowing how the immune system works and how different diseases work, especially since we are still going through the COVID-19 pandemic. And the reason why I did this class pass and pass was because I studied a good amount for the first midterm and I scored the average and the average is like a B for this class. So I didn't want to put in more effort to get an A, although it was pretty strange because I barely studied for like the second midterm and I scored six points above the average. I don't know what happened with that, but I'm glad I took this class because a lot of my friends took the class and after class we would always go to Golden Bear Cafe to get breakfast and study. And it was really nice that we had a ritual and I just felt like I was experiencing a normal college class, even though half of my classes were online and over 1,000 people, but it was still fun. And I don't really have any advice for people taking this class because I took it past no pass, but I definitely recommend reaching out to people in like the first week of school, first week of classes, because it's just lecture, there's no discussion section. And if you want to find like a study buddy, just do it in the beginning when everyone's like reaching out to each other and not during the middle of the semester when everyone like doesn't talk to each other. So the next class that I took is called CS61A, The Structure and Interpretation of Computer Programs. This is the first course in the computer science prerequisites at Berkeley. And I had to take this course to fulfill like my requirement for data science and also because I was interested in computer science. So I definitely spent a lot of time on this course. It's pretty time consuming, hard, definitely a weirder course for CS. And I think for the final exam, I spent around like 30 hours studying for it. So CS61A has lectures three times a week, a two hour lab and a two hour discussion. And I also participated in Computer Science Mentors, which is a weekly one hour tutoring section with around five other people. And I participated in one-on-one -on -one tutoring from CS370, which is like the TA course in the CS department. So for this course, we had like weekly homework and we had four projects and we had two midterms and one final. The first midterm was pretty early. It was before the drop line de deadline because people wanted, the course staff wanted people to drop the course. And I didn't have that much CS experience coming in, but I did preview five weeks worth of the course over the summer. So the transition into CS61A wasn't too difficult. The course is definitely difficult though, but I like learning the material. I found it interesting and it's a lot of problem solving. So it's kind of fun. 
And one thing I noticed about CS61A that surprised me was that even though there's a lot of kids in it, like over a thousand students and almost everyone at Berkeley is like computer science, I still found it pretty difficult to get help at times and like sometimes a little lonely. So I didn't really have anyone that was like my go-to study buddy that I could hit up anytime for help and also to study with. And I just think that was because people's like study schedules and sleep habits didn't align with mine. So that's why it was difficult. But like I did have really good study sessions with my floor mates, but then we both got really busy and she ended up dropping the course. Um, and I also only knew two people from my discussion section. So for some reason, my discussion section was really like silent and awkward. On the first day of discussion, I walked in five minutes early and it was dead silent. There were like 20 people in the room. We were just like dead silent. Like no one was talking. Like first discussion section. That was so awkward. And yeah, but towards the end of the course, I joined another study group, which was like very well organized and it felt like another discussion section. Um, one thing about 61A is that your grade is very much dependent on the exams. Pretty much everyone gets 100 on the projects and homework because of the auto grader, so you have to get the problems like correct for you to submit. And the exams are hard, the questions are tricky, and they're meant to trip you up, but they're not easy to understand, and like, core staff wants the average to be like a 50. They said for our final that like, we want the average to be a 50. And some advice I have for the course is to identify around five smart people who you can always hit up for CS help. So for me, these five people were like my TA, a girl from my tutoring section, whoever responded to Piazza when I posted, and a guy taking MCB at the same time was me. So I definitely recommend asking your TA questions because that's what they're there for. My TA was like so amazing. He responded to me pretty quickly in like 10 minutes over email and he had like really like good responses too. So definitely recommend using your TA for help. And I would also recommend watching the past video explanations for the exams because you need to see the thinking process of how you're supposed to answer the question. A lot of 61A exams are more problem solving than actual coding. So when you're studying, you should also be thinking about what type, types of problems occur and what are some problem, common patterns and ways you can solve them. So the next class I took is Data 8, the Foundations of Data Science. And this was definitely the favorite class I took my favorite class I took this semester, it's an intro course for data for the data science program at Berkeley, and a lot of people end up taking it for their own majors or just for their personal interest. So day to day, we have lectures three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and we have a two hour discussion once a week. And these lectures were online over Zoom, but I watched them recorded. The discussion section was in person and there was around like 30 kids in my discussion section. And we had one midterm and one final. So I had a good amount of data science experience and statistics coming in, so this class was not that difficult for me, but it definitely wasn't like too easy or boring that I was bored by the material. Data 8 was like definitely a good confidence booster class, especially coming from CS61A. So I didn't end up spending like too much time on the course. I just watched the lectures on like two times speed and I spent around like two hours a week on homeworks, projects, and lab. And I really enjoyed my discussion section because my TA is super nice and I actually like made some friends in my discussion section too, unlike my CS discussion section. And so I think for the data science discussion section, we sat in tables, so social interaction was easier. For my CS discussion, we all sat in like our own separate desk, so that was a little awkward. And I felt like pretty comfortable asking and answering questions during discussion, so that was pretty nice. And for data science, some of the stuff we learned about is just like general co coding, like table manipulation. We also learned about statistics, so confidence intervals, hypothesis testing, A-B testing. And we did a little bit of like classifier, like K nearest neighbors classifier. And I really liked all the projects and homework assignments because they were in Jupyter Notebook and the data was like all perfect. So we didn't have to do any data cleaning. And I found it super interesting. And generally that like, help was pretty accessible, there's office hours, and it was pretty easy to like get help from office hours, so that was nice. Although I will say, like one of the academic interns in my discussion section, I felt like she wasn't that good at answering questions, but sometimes like you get lucky with your academic interns and sometimes you don't, so yeah. And some advice I would give to people taking data A is to definitely compare your answers with people before submitting, but don't cheat, obviously, because sometimes you slip up, you make mistakes, you have some misunderstandings that the auto grader doesn't check in data A, because the auto grader for data A just checks that your answer is like in the correct format, not that it's correct. So definitely check your answers with people 
and also definitely attend discussion section because they go over the concepts like really well and the TAs make some guides which are really helpful. They're usually up on the website. So I definitely recommend reading them over before the exams or if you're kind of stuck on a subject. And also for the exams, I recommend doing mock exams and answering questions on Edstim. So it's like the online format forum for Data 8. So the last class I took is Data 88E, which is economic models. This course is a two unit class that is a Data 8 connector course. So basically you take it during taking Data 8 or after you take Data 8. And it's meant to kind of expose you to the different areas of data science and different applications of data science. So basically the course content mainly focused on econ while the assignments and projects use data science and it used data science to visualize economic concepts. So basically for this course, we had a two hour lecture once a week and that was it. We also had a midterm and a final, although those, those weren't official midterm and finals, they were just tests, but those were like the only tests we had. And we also had four projects, which was worth most of our grade. And I originally thought this class was going to be like pretty easy because I took AP Econ in high school and I had a good amount of data science experience coming in, but I found it wasn't actually that easy. So you need to have a good amount of like econ knowledge for the test actually just for the first test because i think they realized it was too hard and made it easier for the second test but i found that during lectures we went over like econ concepts we didn't go over data science at all during lectures but then like for the tests they needed in the projects you need to understand the concepts like pretty well more than what was given in the lecture which was like kind of annoying like it would have been fine if i feel like office hours and maybe piazza were a little bit better and like the textbook was also a little bit better but yeah so basically the thing i disliked most about this course was the organization the guy who like made and carried the class left so i think there's like a learning curve for the new course staff which is completely understandable and one of the things is that the textbook is made by the course staff and updated by the course staff which is actually really cool but then for one of the sections of the course um the textbook like just was not updated for macroeconomic policy and it was just never updated. I mean, we weren't tested on that section because textbook was updated, but it was still like a little bit like, why isn't the textbook updated? And also sometimes when I asked questions on Piazza, I felt like the responses I got were pretty lackluster in terms of like the quality, but yeah, this course I was actually the most excited for, but it ended up being my least favorite course and also the course that turned me away from double majoring in econ. I was, I took this course and I realized that like, I like econ, but I don't think I like it enough to double major in. And some advice I have for this course is to definitely attend office hours and ask TA questions, especially for the projects and the homeworks. They're not really like easy, like 100s. Um, so yeah, I would also try hard to make friends in the beginning of class because this class is just a lecture, so it's pretty hard to like branch out and reach out in the beginning of the semester.